like I said, I'm just blessed that no one got hurt. And, um, you know, like I said, JSO did a fine job. Um, like I said, it could have been a different outcome this morning. So thank God that, you know, none of the victims is hurt and, and he's safe and they brought him out alive. So right now we just have to go with due process with the uh, judicial system. But I think that he need to be evaluated, mental issues. What's going through your head this morning uh, before you're getting ready for court and now proceeding with the rest of the day? Just um, disbelief, you know, just great kid, you know, great upbringing, just, just snapped. I mean, I don't know. I mean, do you have a message to him? Yeah, just, um, just pray, stay prayerful, and um, ask God for forgiveness. Were there any signs from him of, of any any issues or anything like that that might have led to this? I think the last couple of days he's been, to me, not as, not as same, same type of deposition. Been rambling, mumbling on, talking to himself, something unusual. Um, the last 24 hours, I just. I overlooked it. I thought maybe he was just drinking or something, you know. But um, you know, it's just a shame what happened. I mean, like I said, great kid. You know, you can know you know his mental issues. I mean, somebody comes in with a dog, dog food, and requests no money. That's got to be hard as a parent to see that. Yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's, he's a great kid, and um, my my main focus was just make sure that none of the victims got hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm just blessed. That, it was it was a great outcome. Sheriff's office came in; they could have killed them. You know, he could have killed victims. So everything played out. You know, I just thank God for what you know. You know, so I think he's in a better place now. Hopefully, he can get some mental evaluation and get some counseling, and we'll take it from there. Did you, anything happen recently in his life that might have triggered something like this, like a breakup or a well, loss of a job or something like that? Well, no, I mean, like I said, I mean. He worked for me. I mean, I paid him every week. I mean, he had a job. He didn't need any money. As you can see, he didn't ask for no money. Uh, he was, he went through a divorce or was going through a divorce or something. So I think maybe that could have resulted into, you know, and, you know, like I said, it's, who knows? It's tough. I mean, you know, we all have things different. Is he a father? Is he a father? No, he has no kids. No kids. You're yes. his father, correct? Yeah, yes. Is yes. any part of you... Go ahead, Jim. Did he have any problems before, like a laundromat or anything like that, a couple of nights ago as well? No. Nope. there we understand there might have been incidents there, or? Well, he was never arrested. I mean, they, they showed the previous arrest records, and there was no prior incidents besides the traffic violation in Duval County. So you everything else is speculation. Yeah, you, we ne did. you never heard of anything else, and he hasn't had any breakdowns or anything uh, anywhere else with anyone. Not that, I, not, that I, not that I can recall. Like I said, I, you know, when he had the breakdown with me, I, I played it off as if he was, you know, had some alcohol or something. You know, I mean, you know, if, if I knew it was uh, severer than that, I would have tried to seek some help for him. We did get a report that he was harassing people at a laundromat two nights ago, and he was living in a car wash. Well, you know, that's my business, and he has a home to live in, but that's where he just chooses to be at because he works seven days a week there. But he, I don't think he was arresting anyone because they would have called JSO. They did. They did. And what did JSO reply? I mean, what would they reply? The officer interviewed him and Let believed him his story and didn't arrest him. OK. Well, so it was, it was nothing severe. <laughs> was that his dog that he brought with him? And any idea why he brought the dog with him? Um, he cares for people. Now that's, that's part of his problem. He cares for everybody, so, you know. I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's uh, what, I guess war victims, you know, they have PST issues or whatever, they have dogs. So I guess that was, that dog was more like his friend or, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I'm getting out of it. Was it his dog? Yeah, yeah. Did you talk to him regularly? Uh, every day, every day. Does any part of you believe he should face some type of criminal justice? Well. You know, my belief is if you commit a crime, you should be punished for the crime you committed. But let's first do due process. Let's get him evaluated. Let's find out where his mental state at. You know, because like I said, you know, anyone that commit a crime should be punished. Any yeah. idea what he meant by the New World Order? He's not a Muslim. No, I don't. He's a Christian. 
If your son goes away for the rest of his life, what's it going to do to your family? Well, it's, it's going to tear us apart. I mean, but um, I'm praying that it's a different outlook than that. But, you know, like I said, it's gonna, we're going to support him. That's my son, and you know, I'm going to stand by him. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is, and no one got hurt. Thank God for that, and, um, and he's alive. So we'll take it from there.